Hi guys, in this tutorial we'll look at how to work with Revolve Tool. So let's start by creating a mask. Press Create Surface. Now as you can see by rotating the mask around its axis, we've created a 3D surface. To get a smoother roundness, you can add segments. If you don't want to rotate 360 degrees, you must specify the number of segments. Then, after creating the surface, the plugin will automatically delete segments you don't need. Okay, now you know how to use Revolve Tool. I hope that made sense. Anyway, now it's time to practice a little bit. So, go ahead and open the image, make it smaller, Find the right camera position. Disable left and back sides because we only need the bottom. Okay, now select both layers and click Create Projection. Now make three copies. Then double click on projection scene 3 and using helper grid properties create a ground plane. Generate the position of the cup. Then head over to tools menu and choose create plan from points. Okay, so we need to change the plane position, but we don't want to lose the generated position. So to do that, open the anchor point editor, mark reposition only anchor point and move it to the bottom. Okay, now we need to adjust the plane so that it looks directly at the camera. Perfect. Now let's draw a mask along the contours of the cup. Press Ctrl R on your keyboard and drag the ruler right to the center of the cup. Add one more vertex. Alright, the mask is ready. Now it's time to revolve. Open Revolve Tool. Add segments excluding those that won't be visible, and press Create Surface. Great! Now disable original image to see if the whole model covers the cup, or if it needs adjustment. Okay, it seems like we only need to adjust it a little more. Move anchor point to the bottom. Great, the cup is all covered now. So let's generate position for the ball. Add a sphere primitive. Correct the position. Let's make some minor adjustments. Okay, great. Now let's see what we have. Okay, it's time to add the background. Flip added half of cylinder 180 degrees. Now drag it to the far end and scale it.
Excellent. Well guys, looks like that's all. To create cup handles, we'll need another tool. It's called Extrude Along Path. We'll talk about it in detail in the next tutorial. For now, let's just organize our project before we save and quit. So cut and paste the cup model to projection scene 2. Move the ball model to projection scene 1. And that's it. Save it. So see you in the next tutorial, where we'll talk about how to extrude along path.